Hey, good evening, guys. Just wanted to come out here and uh, check on this barley. It's up to my knees here. Hey, how's it going? This stuff here, we're going to direct cut and uh, make a pile, I think, up where the hoop house is. We're taking the hoop house down. <clears throat> stuff looks really nice. About uh, 70 here today, I guess, roughly. That glare is hard on a There we go. So like I said, it's up to being about my knees now. This will be a direct cut, and then we'll put corn in here after we're done with that. See, like soybeans are pretty uh, cheap right now to grow. Nice uniform field here. You're down in uh, the Carolinas, aren't you? No, it's hard to get underneath it and stuff. It's just going to be best to take it down and come up with a new plan uh, as far as raising calves. I'm not going to do any more Holstein calves. I think I said that before in a video. And um, just take it down and then use that spot there. There's a bank behind the hoop house. And then I can actually uh, use that as a wall and put the plastic up over the top. And use that to push against. To start a nice straight edge. We could have started planting yesterday, but they were calling for a lot of rain, and we thought it wasn't a good idea to start if they're gonna get two inches of heavy rain. So that's why that didn't happen. I'm out here mowing waterways and around the property. Yeah, the deer like it, but it grows so fast top dressed us here I don't remember exactly but it's nice and smells nice out here so I got the mower out here and hey Nick yeah this is barley we're gonna as soon as it starts to go into milk stage IS coming IS X Cummins how you doing tonight So as soon as it starts coming in head and then it starts to go from a milky to a gummy stage, cut it off, which is the rate it's growing in the heat here early this year. It's going to come in early this year. Now the wind has to pick up, you know how that is. But it's up to my knees. And then uh, the Trinical will be ready for, before this was. This will be, so we'll do Trinical first. Hey, thanks, Nick. My phone is cracked on the uh, opposite lens, so I can't flip it around. Hmm. But it's nice and nice and healthy looking anyway. Nice sunset. It's 
gonna make really nice feed for the cows. Tomorrow I bet you'll jump another two inches, two or three inches tomorrow, probably with the heat and all the moisture. This stuff just grows. Hey, written in blood. How you doing? Out here standing in my field. No, this is going to be direct cut neck uh, for 4-inch feed. Our goal is to cut back on our corn silage and to be able to shell more corn. It looks like we're going to have a good year in corn growing. So it's uh, it's a lot cheaper to raise in corn, and you get the what is direct cut? Well, you've seen our other videos with the uh, self-propelled chopper. Hey, Larry, there's your mower, Larry. It's waiting for you. It's a little steep out here, Larry. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's a little steep. A lot of mowing. Well, only have both sides of the road all the way down. Hertzler here. Hey PA, hunting and trapping, how you doing? They were fishing over here uh, earlier. We have a nice creek that goes down black back here. Um, and they were fishing out of there today. And that's the reason why I'm out here yet trying to mow my banks up because they were parked along my road out here. So I couldn't mow everything, so I'm gonna come back out and finish it. But, uh, yeah. I'm just enjoying this weather. So, uh, if you go back to my videos where we chopping, they put on a, like, a, um, thanks. Happy Easter to you, too. Um, no, I lost it there. They put on a head, it's, uh, I think it's like a 16 foot, 15, five, like that. And it actually mows it off and runs it right into the chopper. That's why they call it direct cut. And um, that way you don't have to use a hay bind to mow it down or a disc bind to mow it down first. But you have to get it right at milk stage when the it's starting to turn to a gummy stage and it makes excellent feed. We did some last year, but we mowed it down at an earlier stage. And that, if you guys go back from last year, yeah, it was last year we brought in the spring air. And it's a little harder to, to do. Because when you mow it down, you need to tet it out to get it dried out a little bit. Too much moisture, it's not very good for it. So, But we'll have some videos of that coming when we get started here with direct cut. And, um... Show you how that process goes. Found a little mud today again. But other than that, the fields are pretty nice. I don't think we got the rain like, like you said we were going to. Yeah, the, the markets, it takes almost a year for the markets to change. A windrow with a platform head. Yeah, something like that, Nick. I might get a chance to do a little bit of a video on it before we start, and then I can explain it a little bit. But it's a gorgeous evening here. So this stuff's going to grow. I mean, it's taken off. It has enough nitrogen and uh, moisture and... Uh, it loves heat, and with that heat, it's gotta grow fast. So today's the, I think today's the 20th. I think yesterday was 19th. Today's the 20th, roughly. 
We'll come back out here in about five days. Hey, CPAT Trucker, how you doing? Hope you have a nice uh, day tomorrow. Happy Easter to everybody. I had to get all the farm all mowed up we, so we have it, get it ready for Easter tomorrow. ISX Cummins, you know what a good sunset is when you're on over the road too, especially when you're down south. And I'm working tomorrow. <laughs> hey Paul, good evening. Happy Easter to you too. So we got the farm all mowed up nice today and uh, worked on a couple of projects with the kids and uh, things are good. Comes another car. So spend time with the family tomorrow and uh, the grass is really growing now. Yeah, you got that right. This is the second, second time I mowed here along the roadways. It's a little steep out here, but if you don't keep after it, it doesn't look nice. So I try to mow on both sides of the road here. I like things nice and neat. And this is my time usually to get it done because we're so busy during the day around the farm. Yeah, sun's just going down now. So peaceful out here, other than me talking. So as far as uh, Easter, what it, what it, what I what I always look at it is a new beginning, and you got a new year. Um, last year we had a really rough year with the rain, a lot of corn we lost. There's still a little corn standing. Yeah, farm work never ends. I would turn the camera around, but the, what the problem is, I have a crack through the one camera, and it makes a glare. about time I get a new phone. Hey Ralph! How was your day Ralph? You gotta make it home? Nick says I hope the uh, hope good year for you. No flooding, no heavy rain this year. <laughs> yeah, I hope not either. But that's part of farming. We don't know. That's our biggest uh, gamble sometimes when we go to work it with weather. But we're gonna we're gonna be uh, chopping uh, barley here, triticale, between two to to three weeks yet. Maybe not even that. I don't think we've been. Um, <laughs> I I can't teach those deer anything, Larry. If we stay here long enough, they'll start coming out. They'll come over and nibble on it. Yeah, I'm really surprised. Well, Ralph, we're taking the greenhouse down where the calves are raised and we want to pile it right there where it's level and we'll put plastic there's a bank up behind the ag bag I mean uh, behind the hoop house <laughs> and uh, just lay plastic down and then cover it with a piece of plastic and tires those bags are terrible expensive um, I would probably need four bags here at 200 feet to spring to put our barley in and uh, shoot the deer. Oh, we have guys that come here and shoot them, but there's just too many. So I need to finish up mowing here, and I uh, just thought a quick uh, say happy uh, 
Easter to everybody and you need a hunter like Farmo. Yeah, I know. Somebody takes it serious. You use bags? Oh, okay, my twin uh, is a herdman for 600 years. Yeah, right now we have all bags up the farm there. We did, uh, I don't know how many bags did last year, quite a few. Yeah, Nick, uh, just send me an email and CPAP Tucker, you happy Easter to you too, and God bless you. Keep up doing your channel. I really appreciate it. I don't leave a comment all the time, but last night I fell asleep watching some of these uh, videos, and we don't have TV in the house, so I will, Ralph. We're not milking any here. We're all beef and uh, heifers and um, and. Uh, uh, Holstein uh, feeders. But we have some dairy that goes into other dairy farms. My boy would like to milk someday. Uh, the email is bkangus. bkangus25 at gmail. bkangus. bkangus25 at gmail.com so. Well, have a great evening, uh, IS Cummins. Have a great evening and tell the family I said happy Easter and uh, enjoy your weekend. Yeah, hi, Jill. Hope you guys have a great uh, weekend, too. It's nice to have a little uh, downtime with the family. So, all right, guys, have a great evening, and uh, I'm going to finish up mowing before it gets dark out here. And uh, thanks for stopping over, and happy Easter. And uh, we'll see what we get ourselves in tomorrow. Have a good evening, Paul. Tell your wife I said hi, too. So, God bless, and I'll uh, talk to you later. You're welcome, 7-Eleven. Yeah, that's fine, Larry. I'll talk to you later.